Yep, yeah, g'day. Just a, uh, a quick video here, just doing a bit of an update on some of the experiments this morning. Uh, I've made up a quick switching circuit um, just to test out um, how well we're sort of uh, with this diode switching here. What I've done, um, there was a suggestion this morning about using um, a lower voltage rather than 12 for uh, turning on these diodes. Um, absolutely no reason why we couldn't try that. So at the moment, we have feeding this diode switch here 3.3 volts, which is uh, the onboard regulator on the Teensy. Uh, and then the current limiting resistors have been reduced down to uh, 1 K ohm, down from 3.3, and uh, that's certainly switching it well. So a couple of experiments here. Um, at the moment, the circuit is wired up. Um, so essentially, the Teensy is putting out on, on this white wire here either a 0 or 3.3 uh, volts. If it's a zero, then it turns the circuit on. If it's 3.3 volts, then there's no uh, no voltage drop across the uh, diode, and it basically turns off. At the moment, in the circuit, are these um, four 001 um, diodes, um, and as you'll see, they don't perform quite as well as these little um, germanium ones. So, at the moment. Uh, what's the best way of doing things here? Um, at the moment the oscilloscope is on the input uh, and there it goes the input there and if we just now, in fact if you look across on the screen here what we can do is I can cycle between uh, the refresh rate's not working too well there I can cycle between the bands so at the bottom, if you look at the bottom left hand corner that's on the 80 meter band and then we're on the 40, 20 and then back to 80 so uh, that's basically cycling through the various modes and what I'll do is I'll just move the oscilloscope to the output of that little circuit and at the moment we are on 80 meters and if I push the button again we'll go to 40, 20, one more push back to 80 uh, and basically no losses there, but of interest with these particular diodes is when I turn them off Which is there you'll see there is a bit of leakage and if I adjust the oscilloscope That's turning out to be around 35 millivolts so um, uh, And I think that was to be expected with some of these uh, big sort of uh, rectifier diodes with the junction capacitance so what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to stop the video and then I will replace those two um, diodes with the little germanium ones and we'll repeat exactly the same experiment. Okay, so we're back again. Um, we've now removed from the circuit those two 4001 diodes and as you can see in there now are those two, um, those two germanium diodes. So uh, first thing, just looking at the insertion loss so at the moment the oscilloscope's on the input as we can see there and that's working out to be one volt uh, peak to peak if I now move the oscilloscope to the output and we bring up 80 meters and we've got a slight reduction there that reduction is now 0.7 volts and if my maths is correct 20 log V out over V in should give minus 3 dB so it looks like we need about 3 dB insertion loss with the use of those germanium diodes um, <clears throat> over the big the big silicon ones but interesting enough if we now cycle to off so that's currently on 80 meters bottom left hand corner and if we just cycle it to off you'll see it disappears and what we're not seeing now is so much um, so much leakage through it so I had to crank this right up way past what it was before so we're now on uh, 5 millivolts per division so 510 so it's about a third less than we had before so I guess that's the compromise if you want to have uh, slightly less insertion loss then um, you're going to have to put up with some leakage so I think at this stage of the game I am going to probably stick with these little germanium ones and continue tinkering with those. 
Um, I think for now, unless someone else wants to jump in and, and say that's crazy or not, uh, I'm going to need to get some more of those on order. Um, the other option is I just sort of persevere, I guess, with the four double O ones and keep wiring up uh, the rest of of this um, band pass switching or um, band pass filter is more the point. So I can keep wiring that one up. But the other good thing is it's obviously clear that 3.3 um, volts is 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 easily sufficient to forward bias these diodes. So that basically means now I can sort of go back as was suggested and. Um, modify the circuit from last night which was basically switching the two IEF amps and the crystal filter and uh, essentially do away with this this whole this whole arrangement here so that will no longer be 12 volts um, that'll be 3.3 and um, I will utilize 3.3 um, <clears throat> volts coming from uh, from the Teensy and I could probably do away with one of those digital lines too so that, that's just a, a quick uh, a quick modification there, which will be good. Uh, just got to watch out too that the Teensy at the moment on the 3.3 volt line, which is this red one here, has 100 milliamps max. So just do a bit of do a bit of math there to make sure I'm not going to exceed uh, the current rating on the on the Teensy. So anyway, so it looks like that's working quite well. Um, we shall continue uh, experimenting, and uh, we'll do another video once it's all up and running. But please sing out if you think 35 millivolts or that that, that uh, insertion loss um, is 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 bad or not. So what's that? So if we said that was essentially one volt in and 35 millivolts out, then that log 20 times is 29. By my maths, 29 dB uh, down. Should be about right if that makes sense. Um, yeah, I, uh, I must admit I'm not an expert in this, so I'm not quite sure if that's good, bad, or indifferent. Um, is it is it is it enough to, or is it good enough to have 29 dB down um, in say gain leakage versus 3 dB loss in gain? Um, now, bearing in mind on transmit, this is this will be going through. Uh, through to the power amplifier stage, so it's just a matter of making up that 3 dB that way, and then on receive, obviously, I'm losing 3 dB before going into the IF amps, so um, that may not be such a um, a big problem in the end. So I think at this stage of the game, I will stick with the uh, the germaniums for now, and um, we'll persevere that way. Anyway, thanks, and uh, we'll keep on experimenting.